introduce Dr. Salvatore, who will give us a situational update on COVID. Hi, good morning, everyone. So uh, I will start with that situational update. Here in Peterborough, we have an additional confirmed case. So we're now up to two uh, confirmed cases. Uh, the second case is a close contact of our first. Uh, this person was tested here at Peterborough Public Health uh, and all the necessary precautions were taken. Uh, the person was uh, um, uh, directed to self-isolate at home and we will be following up with that individual this morning to identify uh, the, uh, whether there are any additional close contacts that will be tested. Uh, and if so, that will be done here as soon as possible. So uh, we've had no deaths uh, uh, from COVID yet in Peterborough. Uh, we have no resolved cases that we're aware of yet. Uh, and as far as the public health measures, I believe I can say with confidence that the social distancing is now uh, being implemented. In fact, uh, we had very strong uh, compliance yesterday with the closure of Peterborough bars uh, and the changes to the restaurants. We had full compliance yesterday. We did not have to issue any Section 13 orders to close establishments. Uh, and so I just want to send a note of thanks out to all of the operators in Peterborough for being uh, such great partners. Um, as far as a specific theme today, I think we're still, we have a lot of people who are worried and anxious and are uh, seeking testing and I think we really need to ensure that people use the self-assessment tool that's on our website if they can. I know not everyone has internet access, but that tool should help them work through whether or not they need testing. In addition, people that have an exposure history, so if they've traveled within the last 14 days outside of Canada, or they have a contact with a case or a possible case, they, and mild symptoms, they should be calling us. So we are not testing anyone without symptoms. The test will not work on people without symptoms. So this is not a test that you can use like a blood test for immunity where you look for antibodies or some other markers. This is a test that identifies the virus. So if you do not have symptoms, we cannot test you. It would be a waste of a test. And those tests are so precious right now. We really need to be very, very careful as to who gets tested. Um, so we are prioritizing people who are calling to us who have mild symptoms and have an exposure history. We're helping people figure out whether or not they really do have an exposure history. And if we believe they need testing, we will test them. In fact, we have people coming in by appointment only to be tested here at Peterborough Public Health. In addition, we uh, all now are very grateful that the hospital has its assessment center operational. They are taking referrals for testing from us. So if we have a, uh, someone who calls us who has more significant symptoms uh, or risks and we really feel that that person needs an assessment as well as uh, a test, we will refer that person to the hospital assessment center. Uh, and so the uh, hospital is taking referrals from us. They're also taking referrals from family doctors. So again, if people have a family doctor or a nurse practitioner, they should be able to get in touch with them and uh, be at least triaged through their primary care provider. Uh, I know in addition that the Peterborough Family Health Team virtual care clinic is providing access for people who do, do not have family physicians. So we are working very hard on ensuring people have somewhere to call. Uh, and uh, as we get more resources online and available, we will be announcing those to the public uh, so that uh, people can get the care they need. Uh, I uh, will, uh, I think I've addressed uh, everything that I had to say except just for a couple of more things I want to add. Um, because of the high volumes of people being tested in Ontario, our turnaround time for test results is now up to four days. So that means that people who are tested, 
do need to remain in self-isolation until they are advised by a public health nurse or potentially by the person, the physician who ordered the test, that they are either positive or negative. That we are still advising people that the incubation period for COVID is 14 days. So if they have been exposed, if they're a return traveler, they need to self-isolate for a minimum period of 14 days. And that's regardless of whether or not they've been tested. Uh, so uh, uh, that's, I think, something that I would really appreciate the media's help in for everyone to understand that the incubation period is 14 days. And that's how we have uh, arrived at that as a minimum period of isolation for anyone following an exposure. And if they're well at the end of 14 days, then it's business as usual. Uh, but if not, uh, by then hopefully they've been given some advice by their healthcare provider or by us. So I am going to turn this back over to Brittany for additional comments. Okay.